What's up, guys? And welcome to the wet team. Oh, we tired. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Get your call, see too. You're like, you're pulling out the shit. All righty. So today I'm wearing the 59 Co merch. This is the shirt I'm wearing. You can get it in the link on my YouTube channel. Represent.com slash 59CO, 59Co. So today is a good day. My poison ivy's gone. Thank God. My cat just fell off the refrigerator that I have in here. And I got ice cold beer. And my wife's gone for the weekend. I still have my son, but he's in there taking a nap. One of my friends, who's a woman, asked me for advice. Probably not the best guy to get advice from. I'll admit that. Or I'm the right guy to get advice from because I'm so knowledgeable on how to fuck something up. My friend texted me and said, hey. I need advice. I got to talk to this guy. You know what I'm saying? He's a little irresistible. Uh, What should I do? So I said, be very blunt and tell him that he is hot, sexy, gorgeous, glistening. His body is radiating masculinity. Men want to, men want you to be direct. I told my wife that this was my response to that scenario. Men, see, see, when I was dating, before I was married, I was just giving it to him, buddy, like a freaking punching bag. Because, and then my relationship started based off of that. And people will say, yes, a relationship is not good if it's based off of sex. That's a lie. That is a woman's point of view. From a men's point of view, start it there and then build it on that. Especially like, I know some women like, right, you know, they want, they love a guy, but he's horrible in bed. Horrible. That shit fucks with you. And there's no training a dog on, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, this dog is 30 years old. He's shitting and pissing in the house. It's time to take him to the vet. And when I mean the vet, I mean the thing. And then they're going to take the thing, and then they... Dang, dang. Uh, but yeah, then my I told my wife that I gave this advice, and my wife said, that's why you have, have had so many STDs in your life. You know, an STD is not that bad. Not anymore. Have y'all seen the commercials on YouTube? You can take a pill now, and it's gone. Everything. Except COVID. I want to say COVID. I think they said COVID could be an STD, but I, I might be, I don't know, in the media thing. But uh, I admit I have had some STDs, some secondary transmitted diseases, but I'm good now. Um, But that's just the risk you're willing, you're going to have to willing, that's just the risk you're just, that is just the risk that you have to be willing to make. You want an STD or you want to be alone all your life? Your choice. You want to hit this guy raw? Your choice. You better not hit him raw or take blame B because you know the fucked up way the system is right now. How far you want to go? You want to risk it for the biscuit. Uh, Well, I got off a track there. But yeah. Women, don't be nervous when it comes to men. If you like that dude, you need to tell me you like that dude. Don't be playing this fucking circle thing where it's like, I need to go on like 20 dates. I need to do at least go on one date, fill it out, go to the bar, go home, and rock each other's socks off. I feel like that's the key. Uh, but definitely wear a condom because I it can be ugly. It's Yeah, STDs are good, bad, and ugly. The good part is how you get them the bad part is when you get them and the ugly part is when you're flaring up (sighs) 
just tell just tell your you just women men too just tell people how you feel how you feel be honest about it why there have to be so many walls i don't give a fuck how many times you've been hurt or heartbroken or anything like that if something is messed up say it that's why me and my wife get into so many arguments because i'm like yo this is fucked up you're doing something wrong and she'll say the same thing and then we'll get back and forth and then we just you know we don't have sex but it's okay because you know, I get off work early on Sundays, and you know she's always at her mom's. So I do it myself, damn it! I got a funny story that happened the other day. Some of you heard it already. The ones that I work with, because I'm honest. Uh, so. The other night, like, right, like, it's been, like, a week or so since me and Brandy had made love. Brandy's my wife. We hadn't done it in a a while, so I was like, man, I'm going to do this, and maybe it gets her jealous, maybe it gets her going. So I pulled up some uh, pornography, some XNXX, if you will, dot com, slash BBC. Um, But, so I'm like... Hey, babe. She's like, what the fuck are you doing? I said, what do you mean? I'm watching I'm watching something I want. So I knew that she knew what I was doing. So she got fed up with it. She got up, came back. Boom, it's ready. We're going at it. Like that. Uh... Well, after that, I well before well before that, I wasn't doing it. Well, whatever. So I close my phone, put it to the side, and get ready to fucking go. Get ready to brawl. Let's get it on. There is a white bald guy in our bedroom with a fucking microphone like this. And then Marvin, let's get it on. Oh, baby, let's get it on. Sugar. All right. We do it, clearly. I wake up, got to wake up early this week or next week. It's been pretty rough, but we'll talk about that at a different time. So, I close my phone. I go to bed after we're done because your boy gets sleepy. My back was hurting, but it wasn't worth it. So, I close my phone. I wake up for work the next day. I'm rushing. I'm fucking running late. I get up, jump in the truck, drive to work, and I'm connected to the Wi-Fi at work. And I use my phone. There's this new thing that we use at the warehouse. It's called Wise Touch, and you can use it on your phone. And I didn't have a tablet, and I think it's a lot quicker when it's something smaller, like handheld. Uh, So what I ended up doing is using that website. Well, I walk in the building, boom, connect the Wi-Fi. I go to the back, I'm hanging out, talking to the guys, getting them all going, getting them ready, because I'm, you know, I'm the manager of it. Uh, Go to open up my phone, and boom, you got freaking grandma on her knees, not baking cookies. She's baking something, but it's a freaking sausage, and she ain't German, if you know what I'm saying. Connected to the company Wi-Fi. I fucking open up my shit. I'm like, God. I exit out real quick. And if you watch this and we work together and you are in the tech department, it was a mistake. I wasn't watching it on the clock. I wasn't trying to make my own rubber. It was a mistake. And no one's seen it because I was like this. But yeah, things get embarrassing sometimes. There's nothing really that I, I kind of want to talk about other than that, about the, you know, women wanting men and stuff. But, you know, I uh, just had to tell a few stories. This video is going to be a little bit shorter because sometimes, like my longer videos, like my 20-minute, 30-minute videos, we're only getting watched like seven minutes. So I'm going to do these short videos so everybody can enjoy the fucking sunshine and me. So what I need everyone to do is when they see this video, I need you to share this video on Facebook or fucking to your friends, copy their link, do whatever. 
if I got to do some crazy shit on here, like show my ass, I fucking will because I need this to work. I need, it's up to you guys. You guys are the only way that this is going to work for me. And I will appreciate it and pay it forward. I want to. I have so much stuff in my head about what I want to do, and like if I succeed, succeed with this, like people I want to bring on and create jobs, and you know what I mean, just give back to people, especially in this small town where I live in. You know, there's a lot of good that can be brought from somebody making it and staying in here. Uh, you know, good things to come. So why don't you guys go ahead and like and subscribe to this video and share it to your friends. Don't share it to people that are going to get offended about this because I literally just talked about getting STDs and fucking somebody and an old lady sucking sausages. So make sure to put that little, this isn't good for users and caution. This is blah, blah, blah. All right. Well, I don't know if that's a 13 or a well, good. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Bye. Get your coffee, too. You like your post and <laughs> shit like that. All kind of shit like this. They thought that I was dead, but I'm alive. Call me Scuba Stein. Yeah. Seeing through Jedi. Uh -huh. Clear.